Welcome back. Boom. Why is that so here? I don't care about that. Oh gosh. Give me a second. I gotta figure out how this thing works. Bind. Alright. I don't even need to switch to my secondary weapon. Cheeky. Which means that I might just run two rings, because I don't know. Halt! In the name of the Enlightened One, present yourself. Sir de Sarde, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier D. I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting your visit, Your Excellency. Welcome. May he light your way. You know, now that I think about it, I hope that the, uh... Audio. The audio's... Um... You know what? I forgot my intro. I'm sorry. I know you like seeing that. I like seeing it. I know I like seeing it. I just said that. And uh, Anyway. Well, Big, Big Park Plays, Let's Plays, and other things. This episode, you're gonna see me break out the trap. And... Somebody. Okay. Um... Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that wasn't necessary. Alright, without further ado, let's beat it. That's nice. Now the audio is feeling a little weird for me. Okay, there we go. Like a nine. <sighs> All right, now that we have the pistol, as I said, May the when we have the keep you chance, our next stat is going into crafting. And, yeah, other than that, we're just going to max the firearms slash magical skills. And just go from there. You shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. <gasps> Forget your pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You are mad. Inquisitor. You! Stop where you are. The pagan stink of these soulless natives taints you. 
You bring demon-spawned barbarians through our gates. <sighs> this man just killed some helpless soul in front of our eyes, and he calls us barbarians. Who are you to address with such familiarity? I am the Inquisitor Aloysius. And you will be going nowhere, lest your answers give me satisfaction. Do you believe that the God of Light is the one and only God? Don't tell me that you are going to humor this crazed assassin. If I want to complete my mission, I believe I have no other choice. You know, I don't care if I lose, but I'll do this one even though I want to destroy his ass. Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but I doubt that your governor will be of a similar opinion. Aggression towards an emissary of another nation is an error that could lead to war. You cannot hide from the divinity behind politics. But very well, I leave you in divine hands this time. I shall allow you to continue along your path. I am certain ours will cross again. And be aware that wheresoever you wander, you shall be weighed, measured, and judged. <sighs> Reputation plus one. You gotta love charisma. I'm gonna have to put another stat in there eventually, too. But, like, honestly, if I lost that, it would have been okay. Because apparently. Teleme is uh, gonna be my public enemy you number one. You are now one. under the stern eye of the God of Lust. Hope that you're underwear. It seems like you do not hold the priests of God. Young man. Pardon me. Are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin. And I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, Father? Bishop Petrus, how divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? <laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young boy. I'm on my way to New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. I must first meet the Mother Cardinal to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you, and then we can take the road together. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again. Your Eminence, in the name of the Congregation of Merchants, I present my best regards. May the light blow on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. You crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. I beseech you to forgive his zealous nature. His faith is absolute, and I congratulate you to have appeased him. Your faith and your diplomatic skills honor you. Another subject brings me as well. The Malachor. The horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. What a fortuitous coincidence. A practical excuse for sending the Inquisition out to set the island ablaze. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations, and I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. 
Alas, the population is very secretive, and we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us in this matter, in other words, if the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to his majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague, and his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Actually, I should have probably Petrus. He's a tank type. Well, he's a paladin type, I believe. So not only is he tanky, but I believe he has healing capabilities, which are all good for me in regard to party settings. Because the longer my teammates can survive, the more damage I can do. But honestly, pretty soon here I'm going to start relying on crafting between making bullets and um, looks like a possible side quest yeah right here all right let's do this quest Hopefully I get to break out my gun, not on the natives of course, but these to lay me itches. to try out boss I can't walk on guess I have to sneak up on him <laughs> and that's what sneak attacks are so you don't actually need a knife to sneak attack you just have to walk behind them I guess the only other way to like have decent cheese is like those stealth attacks because they actually do a decent amount of damage. So, I'm mostly saving the pistol for humans. Didn't even lock on. Ah, here we go. Please, I come because of a message that was sent to me. Hello, people. This is the Onol Menawi of the... I came following the instructions you had left the secretary of our embassy. But I wasn't expecting to find you near the corpse of a member of the Ordo Luminous. We were told that there was a man different from the other Renaixem amongst the Lugain Blau. Someone 
who sometimes helped our people. This is why we talked to the man in the large house. But we don't really know who you are. My name is the Sade. I'm the legate of the congregation. It means that I am in charge of the diplomacy with the other nations. And yes, I have helped your people a few times. A diplomat is someone who talks, right? Not someone who fights. <laughs> I know how to fend for myself, if that's your question. But will you tell me why you made me come here? Two nights ago, we attacked a group of Red Sons who were taking away some of our people. Many of them fled. But we captured this man, and we made him talk. We wanted to know where they took our brothers. And he talked about a secret camp. Why would the Inquisition take natives to a secret camp? To confuse their minds. They torture them until they renounce the truth and praise the sun. This red sun was mocking us. He said they would burn us like the others. He had killed some of my brothers. So I killed him. If what you say is true, then indeed, we cannot let the Inquisitors continue. But because you killed him, we can only take your word for it. Maybe not. The Red Sun had a key on him. And also some words sealed in bark. We do not know how to set them free. But the Renaikse do, don't they? The letter ordered this man to join the escort party of a group of natives. This partly confirms what you told me. Do the words say where the camp is located? No. But the address of the Inquisitor is written. What is an address? This is how we refer to the place we live in. I suppose the key you found is the key to his door. So you can go to his house and look for more words? I suppose so. You must do it. Or the suns will keep burning our people. Very well. I will go visit this man's home. I will come back to you if I learn anything more. Hurry. Our brothers may be dying in the meantime. <laughs> All right. Go back to town. We'll wait for you here. We need to know where they are taking our brothers. I love side quests. I really, really do. Especially when it comes to extreme or playing games like this. Like, more than loot, experience. Now that's what I'm after. It gives me freaking chills down my back gaining experience. Like, that's real life. Whether you're in a game or you're doing stuff in real life, the more you do something, the better you get at it. XP You know, it's just that sense of accomplishment Like, dang, I did that Progression It's one of those climbing things No? Dang I'm so bad. I'm kind of mad I got that vigor thing. Like, I guess I get passive regen, but like, all I could do is cross boards. It's not nearly as helpful as crafting potions or. Yeah. Fight me if you want to. Oh, loot. Hold on. Yeah. Locked. Oh. There you go. You know how much the Ordo Luminous dislikes the Nod. Alright, I'll start reading these. Claudius. 
I wanted to congratulate you for your work and your unwavering commitment to our conversion camp project. Thanks to you and your devotion, we were able to bring many savages towards the light. You will find some new elements and orders in your chat at our headquarters. May the enlightened protect you. Inquisitor Honorius. If they catch Honorius. Him, I'm in big trouble. Honorius. This letter mentions a secret camp. Apparently our man was involved in Let's its creation. Upstairs. It also talks about a chest he would have had in the quarters of the order here in Ooh. San Mateus. We may find clues there that will allow us to discover the location of the camp. The key we found Pays must open this thorough. chest. Let's leave. Let's go and see what it contains. It's a key. Most likely the key to a chest with the emblem of the Ordo Luminous. What's up? I don't think we'll find anything else here. Let's leave and see what this chest contains. Come on, dude. You squared up like hey, you want to fight. You. Who are you? And what are you doing in Father Claudius's home? De Sade. I'm the legate of the congregation. My colleague has been away for the last few days. May I know exactly what it is about your status as a diplomat that gives you the right to enter his home in his absence? My status is the reason why the Mother Cardinal asked me to investigate. She wants to know where Father Claudius might have disappeared to. I offered to go to his home to see if I could find some information, hence why I'm here. Really? Well, I find that very strange. Why would the Mother Cardinal ask that some strangers who do not belong to our order try to find him? How would we know? Perhaps you want us to go find her together. I'm sure she'll be delighted to see how you've been treating the representative of one of her allies. That won't be necessary, but know that I am keeping an eye on you. As you wish. I hope I don't see you again, Father. This man uh, give is me the third degree. Like the yeah, lost things. your mind questioning me. I can't wait for one of those cutscenes to end. And then they're just going to get like a, the of the order a shot the to the face. Like Let's immediately. I don't even care if it's like a one, you know, kill shot. I just want to do it for, you know, um, entertainment value. Like, oh, you're questioning me? Pow! Right in the kiss up. <clears throat> Let me just check really quick how far away I am from crafting. Yeah. Level 9. Yeah, crafting is going to be our next because I really, 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 really need potions. Or is it science? Oh, it's science. Yeah, it's science. I can smell a fight coming. And I have all the people I'd want to be with me in these matters. We don't need diplomacy. We want murder. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. We're supposed to be on the bottom floor. Yeah, this, this whole place is messed up. for a chest. Search the office of Inquisitor Claudius. Ah, we found it. Claudius, we hope that we can count on you to accept a new delivery of native heretics in our camp. We would also like you to be in charge of the conversions of the most refractory native subject, subjects. 
I recommend you to follow the most discreet path possible in order to meet us, the path that goes between the rocks to the east of the city and leads to the secluded glade where we built the camp, as it is imperative that our operations remain secret for now. May the Enlightened protect you. The Ordo Luminous. Thanks to these documents, we'll be able to show the natives where the conversion camp is. You know, I'm going to times when new prisoner convoys will get there too. The moment I they start using some words I don't know, I'll be like, uh, uh. I don't know, guys. I don't know what this word means. Yeah, I'm building this character like I build all my characters. D and D ever optimally for combat. It's just like it's cool to have like a lot of value in regard to talking to people and whatnot, but like it doesn't really matter if you're gonna die all the time. You can't progress through the story. That's just that's just me. I like regression. Come here, dear. Oh my God. I like it's tempting me next time we'll try and shoot it so I found some information that should allow you to locate the conversion camp and I also found a note about a prisoner convoy coming soon why come and tell us all of this if your intention is just to betray us betray you how so you're not the ones this so-called legate betrayed we are. You! I have no commitment to your order. It is with Teleme that we are allied. Your nation, that you are prepared to drag into a war against the natives, with the sole purpose of converting a few of them in your torture camp, even if you have to kill all the others. What are you talking about? Are you saying Claudius managed to complete his great conversion camp project? Don't pretend that you did not know. I did not, but now that I do, I will do everything in my power to continue his work. And the first step will be to eliminate those who would denounce us. The Mother Cardinal focuses too much on politics, when she should be following her faith instead. We will fight these monsters by your side, Onol Menawi. To the face! I said I'd do it! Who the hell? Oh, oh good. The lock on's fucking me. I don't want to die! Uh, oh, they killed the other dude, nice. Good job, guys. Proud of you. This is gonna get an angle. Yeah. Yeah, how you feel about doing that? Bitch. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. These men were our enemy. The monsters torturing my people. Even though the Ordo Luminous's actions are atrocious, Teleme must not learn of our involvement in this matter. Our alliance could suffer. Do not worry about it. We won't tell them. And we will make these bodies disappear. Nobody will ever know what happened to them. Except for our Mal, of course. Queen Derdra will be grateful to you for helping us. I hope this will help our relations in the future. In any case, do not worry about this camp. She will not let our people be imprisoned. 
She may even ask for your help in destroying it. Perhaps. In the meantime, please give her my regards. Bertir to mud on all Menawi. And thanks again. Nice. All right, we have approximately three to five left of this episode. We can get some dialogue out of the way. Oh my gosh, freaking ghost deer. If you don't get anything good from killing this elusive deer, then I don't know why you allowed me to lock on. They could just be there. Looking good. Alright, maybe, just maybe. We can start. Hmm. Honestly, let me see if they'll let me start doing these missions. On all Manawi, my mother is still held in this outpost near the Gigador. I must do everything I can to free her from the lion's claws. But you are already busy. Will anything else? Apparently I'm, I'm still busy, baby. Apparently I'm still busy. Alright, so I'm gonna take that up. Okay. Let's try Vasco. Let's try Vasco. Desarde, can I do anything for you? I must leave you. Oh. 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 Maybe his mission is active, which would make sense. The other friendly side missions aren't available because I put his off, kind of. Like accepted it, but also put it off. Mm. I don't think I have to go back into Tulemi for any reason, do I? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. All right. We probably will just get back from the fast travel. I have to end it. Let me just do some mental math. Yeah, there's like a minute left. All right, let me just use this caravan. Get us to where we need to go. Greetings. Do you want to travel without tiring your so? Tangle coins. New to New Serene. Let's go. All right. Yes. We're going to do the companion side missions next. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Big Park Plays. Where Big Park Plays, Let's Plays, and other stuff. Um, we gained a level. That's always a good time. Um, uh, the next video I upload after these two... Um, might be a green hell start i know you guys are probably thinking this is unorthodox mostly usually people just you know play whatever you know play something to completion and then move on to something new except for maybe co carnage but he he uploads things literally all the time and so fast due to you know, his stream and all his editors and support. It's awesome. It's where I want to be, eventually. But for now, I think, yeah. Um, 
don't worry, I'll always go back to these games, but you know, sometimes I need to like take a mental break from one archetype and go to a different one. Like, as you saw, Dead by Daylight updated on my console. Um, I just found out, I just found out that Resident Evil had a, um, a chapter in Dead by Daylight, which is freaking awesome. So I dropped $12, got Leon, Kennedy, Claire, Claire, and the Nemesis, and I am to get to my, my compatriot that I played with, um, all those years. Well, not years. Yeah, well, I feel like it was two years ago, but Daylight had a Might have to hit them in a few videos me. They're really, really way better than me now, but, um, yeah. It could also be fun. If you haven't played Dead by Daylight, I'll show you a little bit of that, too. Um, yeah, not the best, but I think I'm prestige, too. Alright, and anyway, uh, this ending has been way too long. Hope you enjoyed it. Can't wait to see you guys for the next one. When we beat it. You know what? I don't even think I need to say beat it. Let's try this. When we...